One of the most interesting features that I feel gets overlooked with Samsung phones is DeX. It gives you the ability to use your phone on a monitor with more of a desktop interface. And it works surprisingly well, especially on the Galaxy Z Fold 4. In this video, I'm gonna show you how DeX works on the Z Fold 4 and some of the things I like about it and why I think it's a really helpful feature. Let's start with connecting your phone to DeX. You're gonna to have to connect your Z Fold 4 through the USB Type-C port. You do have the ability to connect wirelessly, but that only works with compatible monitors or a laptop if you download the Samsung DeX app. I wouldn't really use DeX on my laptop though because that kind of defeats the whole purpose of DeX. Other than file transfers, if you're using your laptop to give your phone a more desktop feel, why not just use your laptop? I guess it's useful because you could have a window open on your laptop and check your phone messages and other stuff that's on your phone while you're doing some other work on your laptop. But for me personally, I just don't find it that useful. So I just did it the old fashioned way and connected it to a monitor. I used a USB type C to HDMI adapter. I'll leave a link to the adapter that I used or one that's similar. And I just found it really easy to connect. As soon as I attached the adapter, Dex popped up on my phone and it connected. Now I also have a Bluetooth keyboard and mouse that I use to get some work done on DeX. I feel like if you're gonna have this desktop user interface, you're gonna wanna use a physical keyboard and mouse. And I had no problem connecting my Bluetooth keyboard and mouse, both connected quickly to my Z Fold 4, and now I have that desktop experience all coming from my smartphone. With just one connection, now it feels like I'm using my own PC. As soon as you connect, you'll see your desktop. By default, there are some applications there on your desktop, but you can remove them or move them around. You also have a taskbar at the bottom where you can drag apps to and pin them so you have quick access to them at any time. A very similar feeling to Windows and Mac. To the left, you have a back, a home, and a recents button for quick access to those things. You also have an option to quickly get into all your applications that are maybe not on your desktop or that you want to get into. To the right, you have a keyboard toggle so you can bring up the keyboard on your phone. Once again, I'm using a physical keyboard, so I don't really use that option. You also have a volume toggle, a screenshot option, a button to bring up your notification panel. You have options to your quick settings there as well, and it shows your battery percentage and your Wi-Fi connection. And to the right of that, you have access to the time and the calendar. Very similar to any desktop experience like Windows, Chrome, or Mac. Now, if you go into your settings, you have some options that you can play around for Samsung DeX. You can change the font size. You can change the screen timeout for the connected display. You can change your wallpaper, display resolution, and more. What I found useful was going down here to mouse and trackpad. Here you can enable flow pointer to phone screen. And now you can use your Galaxy Z Fold 4 as kind of this secondary display. You can't drag things back and forth, which is kind of a shame, but you can do other tasks on your Galaxy Z Fold 4 using the mouse while you're using DeX on this other monitor. So it's nice to have something showing up on your Galaxy Z Fold 4. You can also choose where the Galaxy Z Fold 4 is gonna be located from the right side of the monitor or from the left side of the monitor. I wish they had other options like from the bottom of the monitor because my Galaxy Z Fold 4 is located at the bottom, but it's still useful. You just have to get used to going to the right or to the left. If you don't want to use a physical mouse, you can also use your phone as a touchpad. You just have to enable it there in the settings as well. Under more settings, you can change things like pointer speed, wheel scrolling speed, and more. If you go back to the Samsung DeX settings, you can also enable S Pen input mode. So you can actually use the S Pen on your Z Fold 4 to control the mouse pointer on your screen. It's a nice touch that might be more useful to some than to me personally, but I do like that you have that option. And that's pretty much it when it comes to settings. Now this works and feels just like any other desktop operating system. I think I've mentioned that a few times already. On the top right, you have an X to close out the window that you're using. You also have an option to maximize the window to make it full screen. You also have the option to minimize the window or pin window to top. And what this will do is the window will always be on top of other windows if you try 
try to drag them over. You could also adjust the opacity. So if you want to see multiple things, maybe one in front of the other, you have that option to do that with these windows as well. You also have the ability to resize any of these windows. You can quickly put them in a certain location and start split screen view if that's what you want to do. It works really, really well. You can have multiple windows open at once. And I haven't been able to really slow down the Z Fold 4 by having these multiple windows open. If you're just getting very basic work done on your computer, this can almost replace that computer that you have. You can connect it quickly, get some work done, disconnect it, and you have your phone once again. Now, of course, if you use your computer on a professional level and you have certain applications that can only be found on a desktop computer or a laptop, then that's gonna be the issue with Dex. But if you do basic tasks like send emails, web browse, create, Word documents or Excel spreadsheets. This is going to work just fine. You can download those applications on the Google Play Store and they're going to work just as they normally would on a regular desktop computer. It's almost like you're getting a smartphone, a tablet and a computer in one single device, which is really great about the Galaxy Z Fold 4. It can do about 90% of the things that you might want to do on your devices. For some, it may not completely replace your laptop, but I think for the majority that just do those basic things, this is going to be a good option. Hopefully this gave you a better idea of what to expect with Samsung DeX and really see if this is going to be an option to actually replace your computer. If this video was helpful, please give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos just like this one on tech news, reviews, and opinions, make sure you're subscribed to the channel. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of our new videos and I'll see you on the next one.